Hey everybody, Kevin here, Coliseum of Comics. Welcome to our YouTube page. It is Wednesday, July 24th. Only one more Wednesday to the week of July, then we're sliding to August for the second half of our summer vacation. Do we have vacation? No, because we're adults, we don't have vacation. But we do have the next best thing, which is new comic book day and all sorts of great stuff. Lots of great reads this week, a lot of them from our independent friends. So if you're skipping on independent, don't. You're making a mistake. Uh, there's so much good stuff to read. Here are my picks for today. Let's start off with our friends from Marvel. Uh, this week from Marvel, I have Ultimate First Choice, Ultimate Black Panther, number six, written by Brian Hill. The art is by Carlos Nieto. Uh, this, oh God, I'm loving this book, man. Take a look at these pages. It's so beautiful. Uh, Black Panther versus Ra and Kanashu. They're all searching for power. The problem is that uh, since they're all looking for the same thing, that's going to lead to a war. This is a setup for something huge happening. And man, I love the story building. I love the world building uh, that, that Brian Hill is doing with this book. Uh, big Black Panther fan. So this is a lot of fun. If you're not reading Ultimate Black Panther, you're missing out. If you're a Moon Knight fan, come on, man. Uh, Ultimate Moon Knight, really. Uh, Right here, Ultimate Black Panther. Number six, my first choice from Marvel. My second choice from Marvel, a little odd for me. I'm big, not a big fan of the facsimile issues. But this week, man, Wolverine 88. Uh, this facsimile, look at that Adam Kubert cover, man. Uh, this was written by Larry Hama. Uh, art is by Adam Kubert and Fabio Laguna. Uh, this is the first meeting of Wolverine and Deadpool. I picked it because this week, hey, is there a new movie coming out? Sure is, it's getting a lot of buzz. Everyone's loving the Wolverine Deadpool movie. So, or Deadpool Wolverine movie, there I go. So I wanted to bring this one up as your choice for just a fun read. You're gonna get this right here uh, for a lot less than if you bought the back issue. So pick it, pick it up, it's out today. That's it for, for Marvel. Let's slide over to our friends over at DC Comics. Uh, sign up this week, Absolute Power Origins number one. Uh, this is written by John Ridley. The art is by uh, Aletha Martinez. Uh, it is basically the origin of Amanda Waller. You know, I don't care about Amanda Waller, but man, this was so good. I, I, I'm a big fan of the character and the backstory on this. The reasons why she's doing what she's doing. I love this. This is so good. So well done. You know, uh, sometimes you don't get a good backstory on a villain. And this is such a great backstory. And is she a villain? Uh, yeah, well, you know, that's what you decide. This book throws a, a different light onto Amanda Waller's character. So there we go. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. My next choice. Man, this was a good one, too. From our friends at DC. The Nice House by the Sea, number one. Written by James the IV. Art is by... Um, Al Alvaro Martinez Bueno, uh, a group of people, titans of industries, masters in their field. They are all invited to this to this house uh, to carry on civilization. Um, and they're going to do it in paradise. The question is, what can go wrong? And this book, man, the story is fascinating. The art is amazing. Ah, oh, I loved it. Loved everything about this book. If you uh, if you are a fan of uh, the Nice House by the Lake, Nice House by the Sea. You definitely have to grab this book. If you're looking for, look at this cover. Look at that cover. Man, just the cover alone. I'm like, you got me. But the story was fantastic. Absolutely grabbed me. Uh, if, if you're a fan of uh, this kind of writing, man, you are in for a treat. I almost swore. You're in for a treat with this one. Nice House by the Sea, number one. Don't miss it. Add it to your subscription. You're, you're going to thank me later. Okay, that's it for Marvel and DC. Independent, bam. By far, so many great titles this week. Where to start? Let's go with our friends at Image. This is the last issue of Creature from the Black Lagoon Lives. This is number four, written by Dan Waters and Ram V. The art is by Matthew Roberts. Uh, if you have been following this book, 
you know exactly what you're in for. This is it. This is the stunning conclusion, my friends. Uh, monsters are going to be revealed. And uh, I mean that in the most cool way. I love this book. I love the series. Uh, I love this title. This this was a was this a fitting conclusion? Yes, it was. This, this was so satisfying. So if you get all the issues, do it. If you've been reading it, you're in for a treat. The Universal Monsters, man. That next out is Frankenstein, but I loved Creature from the Black Lagoon. Don't miss it. Don't sleep on it, my friends. Uh, my next pick is probably my favorite pick of the week. Um, and there was, a, there was a lot to choose from. But IDW's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, number one. Okay, if there's hype behind this book, believe the hype, my friends. If you're a Turtles fan, they, oh... The starting coming off, and they took off, and it's amazing. Jason Aaron uh, is the writer of this book. The art is by Joelle Jones, and man, uh, it starts off in San Quentin uh, State Prison, and the least favorite inmate in San Quentin, why, it's none other than, boom, Raphael. I don't want to tell a lot about this book because this book was such a fun read. Uh, honestly, add this to your subscription. You're gonna you're gonna be sad if you don't. Uh, I was I was going into a little hesitant. Anytime I read a book, I'm like, oh maybe. But man, you got me. You got me. IDW. Jason Aaron, man, this is this is this was good. This is my book of the week. So much fun. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one. Don't miss it. Look at our cover. Okay, so there we go. Now, let's slide off. I'm gonna set the way back machine, my friends, to the 70s, the 60s, the 80s, early 80s, and um, let's go look at some horror comics. That's right. Uh, um, I'm not into horror movies, but man, I love a good horror comic. I always did. And we're starting off right here with our friends from Oni Press, uh, Boom Studio, um, Oni Press. Uh, Boom Studios both have one out. This is Oni Presses, and this one is my first pick of the two. Uh, they're they're doing uh, EC Comics. Look at the, the EC Comics label. Back when we were kids, man, they ran the horror comic. Look at that cover. Look at that cover. Uh, this has uh, Epitaphs from the Abyss, number one. The writing team on this so far, I'm throwing out names like Brian Azzarello, Stephanie Phillips, we love Jay Holtham, Chris Condon, Art from um, from Jorge Fornes, from Peter Clark, uh, Krause, from Phil Hester, from Vlad Legos Legostov. Um, you're gonna meet someone. Uh, back in the day, we had the Crypt Keeper. Now, look at this guy right here. Look at this guy. That is the Grave Digger, and he's gonna share these stories of horror with you. Uh, Mary Tales of the Crypt. Boom! If you love Tales of the Crypt, you would have dig the daylights out of this book from our friends at Oni Press uh, and EC Comics, man. Epitaphs from the Abyss. Um, can I show something without without spoiling anything? God, it's so hard. It's so hard because there's so many. Oh, I got okay. Here's here's just a, a just a, a page in the middle that you go. I don't I don't see what's going on there. Well, of course you don't see what's going on there because oh the stories. This is so good. This is so much fun. If you're into horror comics, Epitaphs from the Abyss, number one. It is ter I mean, this way. terror. Uh, it's just, oh man, just the artists and the writers and uh, the stories alone. Look at that. Oh God, I can't get enough of that cover. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That is just horrifying. Love that. Okay. Now I mentioned Boom Studios. Boom Studios also this week came out with their version of that sort of thing. It's called Hello Darkness. Um, it is, again, it's one of those anthologies. It's got a bunch of stories in it. Uh, the art, the artists and the writers. I'm just going to throw up the names out. Are you ready? Garth Ennis, Brecky Clunan, James Tinney the fourth, uh, Steve Orlando, Sarah Anderson, uh, Dave Cook, Robert Hack, many more. This book is filled with all sorts of the same thing, all sorts of like, just horror stories that uh, oh, I, I'm trying to. Uh, it's so hard when you when you're when you're. Okay, really quick. Uh, <laughs> it's not for the faint of heart. It's not for the young. It's Boom Studios. It's Hello Darkness. This book, absolutely fantastic. Uh, 
Uh, my last book of the week, it's from our friends at Titan Signature. It is Conan the Barbarian, number 13. Uh, no big surprise, I'm a huge Conan fan. This is written by the amazing Jim Zub. The art is by Doug uh, Braithwaite. Uh, this is the adventures of, uh, it's starting a new storyline. We've got young Conan, who is uh, making his way in the world. So this is setting up the the stage for a bigger uh, universe coming. I love this book. This was a lot of fun. It's Conan the Barbarian 13. Uh, that's a lot of that's a lot of independence this week. Uh, that's a lot of reading this week. You got you got your homework set out for you, my friends. What you got to do? You got to go. You got to pick up the stuff you love. You got to find new books. Go to the independent. Pull some stuff that looks interesting. Pull some more. Get some turtles. Get some Conan. Read your favorites from Marvel and DC. Read your favorites from independent. If you're independent only, hey, slide over to the other guys. If you're Marvel and DC only, slide over to independent. Expand your reading because there's a lot of great out there. And it's summertime. And this is what we did as kids. So continue it as an adult. Remember what that was like. Make a flafanada if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, but to do that, what do you have to do? You have to get thee to a Coliseum of Comics. Get some books. I'll see you next week. Or I'll see you in the stores.